Wednesday, June 17th, and the only reason I know that is because today is the official launch of the Pokemon expansion pack. So we're looking at the uh, Isle of Armor, and uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Uh, Pokemon's never really done a expansion pack before. Um, they usually the way their formula has always been, you know, release uh, kind of two parallel games. Um, and eventually maybe add a third sort of uh, dimension to that or uh, part two of those games. Uh, but now they have an expansion pack today and another one I believe is December, I think. It's like November, December, sometime in that, in that range. So I'm excited. They're going to update their, uh, their Pokedex so that I can bring in some guys that I've trained you know, years ago, really hoping for Dragonite. I don't even think it's part of this expansion, but I have no idea. I can't remember. Uh, but I think Talonflame is. So excited for that. Um, so I'm gonna dig into that today. If I think I, I actually tried to download it this morning. Um, I'm not seeing any activity. Did a bit of research, and my understanding is that it'll go live at around 10 10 a.m. Eastern today because they're doing a, an update on the. Uh, uh, Pokemon at home application so they need to do that so that they can bring in the new uh, well, the updated Pokedex and uh, the new guys and all that so uh, yeah I'm uh, I'm excited it's it's cool that they're doing expansion packs I mean it's starting to get a little costly I mean considering I paid like 90 bucks for the game uh, back in uh, November and then uh, I paid for the uh, the expansion packs in advance um, so they were, I think, 30-something bucks for the two. Um, and then I'm paying for my Pokemon at home subscription because I have to kind of wait for my guys to be in limbo before I can bring them in uh, to the game and then cancel my subscription. Uh, so it's kind of kind of dirty tactics by Nintendo, but I get it. They're, they're making money. So I, if I can keep Nintendo and uh, Game Freak and all these guys, uh, the Pokemon company... Um, uh, thriving and keep making more great games then uh, then I'm happy to contribute on other news my mustache is growing in nicely as you can see starting to get a bit of a curl I will accentuate the must mustache or moustache uh, for you later this week when I uh, kind of give this all uh, a bit of a trimming uh, but it is pretty white so it's kind of hard some people don't even know I have a mustache you look from far uh, it's kind of like a, a camouflage uh, tactic I'm using here, but uh, you know I had a mustache rocking from like November to the new year And I got a lot of compliments about it. Everyone loves a good mustache as long as it's like not some dirty porn stash People seem to be you know accepting of it, and I, I think I, I wear it well. Maybe it's the bald head. I don't know but uh, I'm excited and uh, Thank you all for voting on that. I think it was about a month ago now, and uh, I'm I'm a man of my word, right? If uh, people are, uh, the popular opinion is to grow a mustache, I will grow that mustache. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a completely polar opposite uh, sides of the spectrum here. Uh, a couple other things I want to talk about today, and just kind of continuing with my online shopping ventures here. Um, so, yesterday I had to, I, I've tried to get a hold of Old Navy a couple times, because I ordered some shorts, and uh, we have a, uh, um, I guess like a, a we have a streak of, of warm weather coming in starting today where it's gonna be pretty hot for the foreseeable future and I had to get myself some shorts that uh, would be uh, you know not too long and uh, not too thick and breathable and you know uh, you know contour to my body so to speak and so I found some they got these like jogger shorts and uh, I'm pretty uh, yeah I'm pretty happy about it I feel very free right now, so uh, kudos to Old Navy for having these shorts and 50% off. However, I'm kind of pissed because my online order basically got stuck in limbo. I ordered it like three weeks ago. I think it was on June 2nd or something like that. And um, we were past the delivery date, which was um, June 12th, and um, it's like almost impossible to get a hold of them. So I called them. On the weekend, I waited like 45 minutes while I was doing other things, so it wasn't a huge issue. No dice. 
Um, on Monday, I called at like 9.30 and waited on hold for about another half hour, no dice. Tomorrow, and then and then I researched, I'm like, what time do their phone lines actually open up? And apparently it's 7 a.m. Eastern time, so that I guess they just have one uh, call center uh, that just covers the whole country. So, knowing that, I called yesterday at like 7.45 and waited 30 seconds. And I got through, uh, what happened was my order was sitting there only half fulfilled because they ran out of the uh, additional product that I ordered and uh, they were waiting for UPS to pick it up. So I told them, you know, screw it, let's just uh, just cancel the order. They gave me like a 15% uh, off coupon to use in store, uh, which obviously said online on it. So I had to kind of not argue, but you know, typically when I'm dealing with, uh, with uh, uh, representatives at a store or customer service representatives, the trick is don't come in hot. Don't be an asshole. You just have to be realistic. Like way I dealt with is, hey, I got this from Old Navy, I explained the situation, I clearly see that it says online, but they did tell me it would work in store as well. It's not a huge deal, but it would be nice because, you know, I had to go through all this, uh, uh, this ordeal to get my clothes. Um, and so they were cool about it, brought the manager over, and uh, I didn't have to put my Karen hat or wig on, anything like that, it all worked out. Uh, and they were happy to do it for me. So there you go. Be nice to your uh, customer service representatives. I deal with people every single day. I'm used to it. And uh, so maybe that helps my, uh, my approach overall. But uh, I got what I needed. It was weird being in a clothing store. It was the first time I've been in one since COVID. And um, it was pretty dead. So I didn't, especially in the, in the men's section, there's not a whole lot going on there. Men are pretty quick at buying things. Uh, and... Uh, I actually did have to use a change room, which was kind of weird. I didn't think they'd be available, but I wasn't sure how these shorts would fit um, because I like it a little snugger, so I had to get a small, but I was worried that small might be too constrictive. It wasn't. It fit me just fine, so there you go, in case you're wondering for yourself. Uh, I'm not into that baggy short look anymore. When I was younger, I had like the cargo shorts that go past your knees. Um, I don't under, it's not very comfortable at all. You get really hot. And even on that note, I don't know why NBA athletes still do that. Like I see Kyle Lowry out there with like shorts past his knees. Like, I just don't get it. Like, doesn't that restrict your movement a lot? Um, I mean, I, I find a lot of the European and African players are like, they're not kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just like a, uh, like a style thing, I, I don't really get it, but like you look at like Ananobi, for example, he's got the higher shorts, you know, you wear the compression shorts underneath if you need to, if you wanna cover your legs a bit, um, but it gives you way more uh, range of motion. But and I say that, and like Lowry's ridiculous, so who am I to complain, or, or even comment in general? I just, I, I, I don't get it, maybe? When I was younger, of course, I wore the, I wore the long shorts, but, uh, yeah, I'm a little older now, so it's okay. I've, I've changed my style, believe it or not. Uh, and I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Um, <laughs> let's just let's just stop myself before I get there. Anyway, um, Home Depot still is, doesn't have my doorknob I ordered uh, from another store to be shipped to my local store over two months ago now. I haven't heard a word from them, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. I'm waiting on my freezer. Um, I, I ordered from a local uh, appliance dealer and um, their orders are getting delayed, so they they let me know. They were cool about it. Uh, these guys are in Whitby. I think it's Canadian Appliances. They got a couple other locations, one in Etobicoke too. Um, pretty pretty great to work with. Uh, I did everything I needed to over the phone, and they were super helpful. But uh, they get they're getting some other models, actually same price but a little bit bigger, uh, like chest freezer. Um, and they're getting them hopefully this week. So I just changed my order. Not a big deal. I'm getting a bigger freezer. Better, um, a better bang for my buck. I, I'm just hoping I can fit it down the stairs into my basement. That's the real challenge here. Uh, but I'm confident it'll work out. I'm not, I'm not too worried at all. Um, but yeah, freezers are not easy to come by right now. Um, there's very little available online uh, through like uh, you know trading websites or like Kijiji things like that or classifieds I, sh I should say. Um, yeah, you might find one here or there, but like people are asking for like 150 bucks, close to 200. At that point, you might as well just buy a new one. You're gonna get the warranty and all that. Uh, Cause you, you never know, you know, if someone plugged it in too early and there's like a Freon issue or, uh, 
yeah, I'm really scientific with my, my freezers, obviously, but I know you can blow the motor if you don't uh, let it rest for X amount of time. So uh, I've done that with a, a beer fridge before, or like a, a little like mini bar fridge. Uh, I was too excited to plug it in, and I did not wait. Uh, and we all learned a lesson that day. But anyway, moving on. Um, Amazon's lost one of my packages. Uh, it just never showed up. Um, there was no real reason. They did refund me, but uh, I don't know. This is kind of the state of things, and I've complained in the past. And, uh, you know, if, if you're relying on Canada Post or something like that, then, you know, it is what it is. Um, there's going to be a backlog. There's more people shopping online um, than maybe they had obviously had anticipated. But it's good that the, uh, the uh, uh, National um, Postal Service for Canada is getting a lot of work. Um, so I'm happy to see that. Um, but you know, it's, it's other companies that, uh, kind of break the mold for this sort of thing. Uh, I mean, Amazon's kind of weird because from one supplier to the next, you might get a way better experience, right? I mean, I've had things show up next day. I've had things not show up at all. So, uh, there's kind of a wide spectrum of, uh, of what can happen there. However, my wife and I finally bit the bullet. We needed to get a new bed and we were sick of this, uh, this uh, shitty bed we've had for a while. My back's been bothering me, and so we said, "Okay, screw it. We're gonna, we're gonna get a new bed." And um, because of how my house is situated, I can't. I want to get a king bed. I've wanted a king bed for a long time. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I even owned one. So I was adamant about getting the king, and the only way I could get one is by buying one of those bed in a boxes. So we did our research online. Uh, looked at various uh, reviews and and uh, and that sort, and we end up going with Endy. Um, I definitely, you know, to me, I wanted to go with a Canadian company, and there's a couple. There's Douglas, there's Casper, uh, and there's one other, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, anyway, whatever. We went with Endy, and they delivered next day. Um, so very, very good. Um, actually, if you're interested in buying an ND right now, hit me up. I've got a, uh, a sharing code I can sh uh, save, uh, like 50 bucks or something for you. Um, so let me know. Uh, also, they started a promo almost the day after we purchased ours to get like a free weighted blanket. And a friend of ours let us know, like, hey, did you get the weighted blanket? And we didn't. So uh, my wife uh, messaged them like, Hey, like we just missed this promo. Is it like, could we get, are we eligible? No problem. No questions asked. Here you go. It's going to be here today. So I, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Even bought some Canadian sheets from, uh, I can't even remember the name of the company. Um, super soft sheets. Like I wanted to spend a bit of money to get the, get the right stuff and buy local. And, and I really encourage anyone to do the same. Um, but so far we've had a couple nights, uh, sleep in it. And it's pretty good. My, my back is still gonna have issues for a little while. Getting used to any new mattress is gonna do that. Also, when you buy one of these bed-in-a-box mattresses, it typically takes about a week for it to gain its shape properly. So I'm on day, night two, I suppose I just had. And uh, man, like I've never been in a bed where you wouldn't, like you can't feel the other person. Um, and I, I toss and turn a lot throughout the night. So my wife's quite happy about that. Uh, I mean, having the extra space for a king uh, size mattress and not feeling me toss and turn all night uh, is a great feeling. So everyone, uh, everyone's a winner at the girly household, that's for sure. Um, and uh, back with like the online shopping stuff. Also, when you're looking at um, um, like these bidding wars, um, I don't know if you've ever done these sort of things on, on Facebook Marketplace and, and that sort. It is weird how much people will pay for things when they have no idea how, many, how much things cost. All right, so let me give you an example. Um, I've been obviously trying to unload my, uh, my, mattress, my old mattress, whatever. I mean, someone take it for free, for fuck's sakes. I could care less. Like, I, I gotta either someone take it for free or I have to find a way to donate it or take it to the dump. So. Uh, just take it if you need a mattress. So I was, you know, selling a, a bed set, like the headboard, the frame, all this stuff that like once upon a time I really needed and I would have definitely bought like a used one, no problem. It was really hard to sell. I think we got like 12 bucks for the whole set or something. I don't even know. Um, and um, the other day, I, I like we're just unloading shit we don't need right now, right? And I had this old Insignia TV. If you don't know what Insignia is, it was uh, 
at one point it was like the house brand of Future Shop that doesn't hasn't existed in years, right? Um, and I bought this 32 inch Insignia TV back in 2009, the summer of 2009. I sold it for 40 bucks somehow. Like that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, I didn't even have a remote because my dog ate the remote at one point. Uh, well, chewed the the front of it when it was a puppy, and uh, so it didn't even work. But someone, they just kept bidding. Someone bid $40 for this thing, and it's pretty shitty. So um, give you a, a bit of a perspective there when you're selling things online. And uh, also, I've been out searching for a water table for a long time. My daughter, she's four years old. She likes this sort of stuff. We've been looking for one for a while, like a used one. And th like the prices that people are selling these things for um, are pretty high. Like you're talking 50, 60 bucks sometimes. And uh, brand new, some of these things are super expensive, um, you know, north of $100. But someone posted in the group, like, why are you guys bidding on this? You can go to Costco and get a, a water table for 50 bucks. Uh, like it's all plastic, it's nothing crazy. But my daughter doesn't care. She loves that sort of stuff. And it's exactly what we needed. I went to Costco, picked it up, put it together in like five minutes, and uh, there you go, bingo. Uh, we got a nice uh, uh, oasis in the backyard now where my, my daughter will spend some time in there playing in the water and, and whatnot. I did actually have uh, a pretty big pool that I bought, like uh, one of those inflatable pools, but it was taking up so much of my deck. Uh, the one I bought actually had a hole in it, so I returned it to Walmart, so I got another one in the box. And I actually don't think I want it anymore. Uh, I think I'm gonna return it because it's just, yeah, it's too much. It takes up all the deck. I got shit falling in it all the time from the trees and all that. Uh, so whatever, I think, uh, I think, I think I'm done with that. A um, couple other things I wanted to quickly chat about is uh, if if you're a Windows user, um, you likely got an update recently that uh, pushes their new like uh, browser update. It's like the new look Edge or whatever. Um, if you you're not technically savvy, be careful because what they're trying to do is make that your default browser as they typically try to do and import all your settings from Chrome or what have you. Uh, so just be careful. It's a sneaky move and I mean, they have all the power to do it. But in my opinion, Microsoft lost the, uh, uh, the browser uh, uh, sector a long time ago uh, with how shitty uh, Internet Explorer was for how long it was shitty. And, uh, you know, you can't play catch up because people make decisions. They, they uh, get used to like the app network and all that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a little too late. Even though it may maybe, maybe it is a better browser. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna change now from Chrome uh, because I'm comfortable there. All my applications work there and uh, that's that. Um, and that's all I got for today. So uh, stay classy, uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you later.